In business, it's important to keep track of your numbers. So that's why I'm so excited about today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a dashboard within make.com, an AI table that's going to help you track all of your business KPIs. That means book calls, proposals generated, revenue collected, and more. So if you're tired of having all your information in different spots and having to look things up on a continuous basis and you want it all streamlined in one space, get ready for today's video. I'll walk you through step by step how to actually set up your AI table to actually build the dashboard and what scenarios you need to build within Make in order to get that to work automatically and show up on your dashboard. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Let's begin by looking at the dashboard itself. Everybody's business is going to be different by what they are actually going to put on the dashboard. This specific dashboard is basically like a sales dashboard that has meetings booked, deals closed, cash collected, all that good stuff here. So all of this here is sample data, even though you're looking at it, it may not make sense just to let you know this is just a sample data, but you can put in whatever data that's important for your business. So maybe you want to actually monitor your social media growth. Maybe you want to monitor how many people are coming to your website. Whatever it may be, your variables are going to be different. But coming in here with AI table, you have to build out some things on the back end. The actual automations themselves within Make are not that difficult. It's just that there is a lot of back end building. So within Make, I have five different scenarios here and I am basically starting with a booked calls automation. And so this booked calls automation is going to reflect in the company dashboard here within the meetings booked. And this is simply just taking your call scheduler, whether that be Calendly or Zoom or whatever, and actually triggering it once a call is booked on your calendar. I specifically use Moxie for my CRM, and so that's how I'm starting the actual trigger. I will show you basically, we're just gonna watch. So we're gonna watch and wait for a book call. Once a book call comes through, it goes directly to a record within AI table. And the record it goes to here in AI table are the meetings booked data sheet. So as you can see, there are three meetings here that I've been testing out. And this is going to in turn show up on the company dashboard, okay? So the next step, after you get your meetings booked is basically you want to know what the outcome of the call was. So did you send a proposal? Was it not a great fit? Did the person not even show up to the call? So this is why you go in to make and you are going to the second part of the dashboard, which is actually figuring out like what's happening with the person that you talk to. So we're basically using a webhook. This webhook is actually coming from a form within AI table. So within AI table, you can't just use the module on make that says watch a form. You're going to have to go through and trigger an automation within AI table. And I've created a video about that. I will go ahead and put that up here somewhere so you can follow along with figuring out how to actually create automations from within AI table. But moving on, we are going to the call outcome form. And this is what shows up once you fill out the form, okay? So what you would actually start with when you're creating this on your own, you will create a form and you will have these three columns here. You will put date, you will have what was the outcome of the call and client email and any additional details that you want. So basically, I'm just looking at these right here for my information that I'm putting on my dashboard, but I have the three options here, proposal sent, not a fit, and a no-show. After you create this form with the three columns or however many columns you want, 
what you will do is you will come over here and you will create a form. AI table makes it really easy. If you want to create a form, it's going to ask you what data sheet is it linked to? And I'm just gonna do this as a test since as you can see, I already have everything here. I'm just gonna show you what this looks like. So once you click on new form, it's going to ask you what data sheet are you storing that form data on? And therefore you go ahead and click on whatever data sheet you're going to store that form information on. Okay, very, very simple. So you don't have to go and recreate all of that. I'm going to actually show you what the call outcome form looks like after it's created. So AI table automatically created this for me. So whenever I have a call, after that call is booked, after I speak to that prospective client, I'm going to come in here and I am going to enter in the call outcome form. So as an example here, I'm gonna go ahead and put in maybe that this person was not a fit. I'm gonna go ahead and type in my email. And then I'm going to submit it. Actually here, we are looking at the call outcome. Um, so this number has gone up. And then we are going to go on to the third part of this dashboard. Okay, so the third part of this form is actually figuring out whether or not we actually generated any revenue. So moving over to our actual dashboard here, that's going to be whether or not we have any cash collected. So I will show you the deals closed form. Actually, we're going to have to do the data sheet first, like I said. You do the data sheet and the columns that you're going to need are the date added, description, contracted revenue, cash collected, and email. So the contracted revenue is if you have like a three month term and maybe it's 10 months for the three month term, but you only collected 3,000 up front. So this is what we're actually tracking. And you're going to make a form, which like I said, it's gonna automatically be generated for you. And so this way, you are just coming in on a daily basis a weekly basis, whatever, and updating these forms as needed. So you're going to go through the call outcome form, deals closed, and referral partner form on a weekly or a daily basis, depending on how many calls you're taking, right? And then you'll be able to fill out this information. So what I'm gonna do here, so as we can see, cash collected um, 14.5, and I'm gonna actually see if this will update in real time for us here, if we just put in a number. So let's say the contracted revenue was $12,000 and we collected 4,000 up front. So we're gonna submit that and then as you can see, we come over here and we have cash collected has gone up by $4,000, deals closed has gone up by one. Okay, so this last one here on the client dashboard is going to be the referral partners. And if you hadn't noticed by now, we have basically a trend of webhooks, um, optional sleep, and then creating a record. That's basically what all of these scenarios are doing here in the dashboard. Like I said, it's not a lot of back-end technical stuff that you have to do and make, but there is a lot of technical stuff trying to figure out the whole automation from AI table, sending that information to make, and also designing this dashboard and creating the data sheets and also the form. So there are a lot of steps within here. So I'll show you how to actually pull up the widgets to actually make different things here in just a minute, but I just wanted to go back here briefly and show you. So this is just referral partners. It's gonna be the webhooks. This is how to sleep and create a record. And as far as my referral partner forms, very simple. I have the date added, name, description, and email. And the description here is just basically saying 
what kind of product or service that this person is going to refer to other people. And this just gives me a generalized idea here on the company dashboard. I have it set up so I have referral partners by service. So if I hover over there so I can see that I've got two referral partners for chatbots and one referral partner for LinkedIn lead gen. And then total referral partners all together is three, okay? Lastly, over here, this is a Google Analytics um, webhook. And so this is basically pulling information from Google Analytics. So you can get as detailed or not as detailed as you want, but basically I have my 28 day new active users. And this particular metric is not gonna be pulled in day to day. I would probably run this once per month. And I'll just show you this here is basically the same thing. So you are triggering from the actual source so this is Google Analytics generating a report into AI table creating that record. And what you can see with Google Analytics, there are so many things that you can actually trigger for. If you are running Google Ads, you can most definitely do that. Um, if you're just using Google Analytics just to use the analytics side and not run ads, you can pull different metrics here. So like your view count, your um, the page views, all kinds of stuff so it's completely up to you what you want to do for your business as far as what you want to track but that can be put over here within your dashboard okay so after you get all of your data sheets all of your forms and all of your make triggers to actually get that information to get those metrics over to AI table, it's creating the dashboard. So you can just go ahead and actually add in, you're just going to create a new dashboard, okay? And that new dashboard is just going to be blank, as you can see, um, completely blank. And what you would do here is you would start adding in your widgets and connecting your data from make, okay? So adding in a new widget, you can just click here and it gives you options of what kind of widgets you would want to put in. And so I used a lot of summary and I used a couple charts. The summary is basically going to just put in numbers and it's going to ask you what data sheet you wanna link it to. So this part gets really easy. It gets pretty fun where you can start visualizing your numbers and everything. So you can select a data sheet and you can put that in and then we'll just go ahead and say we're going to do referral partners and as you can see it already has information from that data sheet and so that's pulling in that number here and with all the widgets you have the option of reconfiguring the widgets or configuring them to whatever you want so you can change that number you can change the name You can change the color. So if you wanted a particular color, you could do that. You could also make sure that you are counting records or counting fields. You can configure this however you want. You can change the view. Um, if you want it to do something different, so we can put in another widget. I'm gonna select a data sheet to link that to. I did the call outcome okay um, so this is a chart as you can see this information here is not really legible you know we have dates but this isn't necessarily saying what's happening here because we don't know what this is right so we go in here and we can figure this widget and we can have it grouped by what was the outcome of the call right so we can say um, I don't like the date. There we go. So we can group the X, Y axis and we can figure out how this um, all comes together. I like it this way. It makes it easier to read. You just hover over it and you see, okay, I've sent 12 proposals. Um, five people that I talked to weren't a fit and three people no showed. 
and from here you can go down and you can have more settings you can change these theme colors to make this more of your brand right and you can you know select the axis to sort by um, you can make it descending ascending so you can really make this yours but this is just basically the basics of showing you guys how to actually set up a dashboard for your business to track the analytics that are important for you if you have any questions about this particular tutorial or if you need help actually setting this up for your business, I'm going to drop my link down below. So that way you guys can book a call with me and we can chat about it. And then in the meantime, if you like this video, please subscribe, please share with others and I'll see you on the next video.